a nice message. It is. Mm -hmm. We had another nice message up in Bountiful today. There was an elementary school that's put together a production, a musical, about not one, but two local Olympians and their struggles that they've had in their yeah. careers. It is quite a production. We got a little taste of it earlier. We want to hear more about it from Brittany Tate, who is on this story for us in Bountiful. This is an annual tradition there, Brittany. It's quite a thing. This is an annual tradition, always an original musical. However, the characters are different. It's always showcasing a different hometown hero. This year, it's two different hometown heroes. I'm here at Valley View Elementary in Bountiful, where they're about to start the last show of what has been a six-show stretch here in Bountiful. The production is called Good as Gold, and they're trying to teach the students who are portraying these hometown heroes that you have to set goals and dream big. Parents of students at Valley View Elementary in Bountiful started scripting and writing original songs one year ago for the school musical. Been in constant contact with Steve Holcomb and Noel Pikes Pace. Nearly 95 students rehearsing and getting mic'd up, all to tell the story of two Utah Olympic heroes. I'm a little nervous. Excitement in the air, the chairs are set, and the audience rolls in. It's very upbeat. It's very emotional. Anna Schmidt plays 2014 Olympic silver medalist in skeleton racing, Noelle Pikes Pace. It's fun to kind of go through her life and feel the like emotions she is feeling. It's a compound fracture. We have to take a leg. She and the other third through sixth graders act out the story of Noelle being hit by a runaway bobsled. Her leg crushed, and so were her dreams of competition. They decide that they're going to keep going. You have so much potential. The production also tells the moving story of Stephen Holcomb, who overcame a degenerative eye condition to compete. You can overcome these hardships too. Holcomb is currently competing in the bobsled world championship. In Austria, he couldn't attend the play, but the doctor, who developed a non-invasive procedure which restored his eyesight, did. It stopped his keratoconus from progressing, saved his vision, and we restored his vision with other lens implants too. He was 2020 and went on to win Olympic gold at the 2010 Vancouver Olympics. You may eventually have to have a cornea transplant. Cornea transplant? I am so excited, and that is why I would have never missed coming out here from Beverly Hills to see what these students are doing. It really impacts the students. They'll never forget this. Keep going. No matter what life throws at you, just keep on moving, keep pursuing your dreams. So fun, so inspiring to see this come together. Well, last year, parents of students here at Valley View Elementary, they wrote another uh, original musical. This one was showcasing the life of Utah native Gail Halverson, the Berlin Candy Bomber. They say it's not always easy to try and get all of the original costumes, make the set, let alone writing the musical score, but they say it's worth it to teach these historic and inspirational stories. Brian and Amy, back to you. Well, isn't that something? To yeah. have the doctor, too, come out mm -hmm. for this uh, production, that's really yeah. neat. Yeah, a lot of lessons learned there. Thank mm -hmm. you, Brittany.